Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, what I'm going to cover, if you are an enterprise and you are looking for some kind of generative AI use cases and you don't know where to play around or where to co-create with an organization that you are planning to buy the generative AI uh, tools and technologies. And also, I will share a couple of links where you can go and register yourself and start picking up the particular use case for your organization and play around. So basically, when it comes to generative AI or if you are planning to adopt generative AI for your organization, you must know what type of use cases the generative AI is rightly fit for, right? And also, you must have the confidence by playing around with the model so that you can pick the right generative AI use case for your organization and also you can pick the right model for your organization to work on. All right. So I would like to share a page where you can go and explore all the possible use cases with free of cost. Suppose if you are an enterprise and you want to play around, you can just register and give your company name and then start exploring all the possible use cases. And in your personal interest, if you are exploring the generative AI use cases and how to architect, how to implement the generative AI use cases for your organization, you can register as a personal account and play around it. All right. So let's get into the action. So hope you can see my screen. What I have shared here, the dsce.ibm.com slash Watson X. So this is the page that you have to land in. And if you land in, you can see all the list of tasks provided by IBM here in this case. So what are all the AI tasks they are focusing here? Classification, code generation, content generation, extraction, optical character uh, recognition, and retrieval augmented generation and summarization. So all these uh, AI tasks are used in these use cases. And if you look at the model, we have this Google's Flan T5 model, Plan T5 XXL and uh, Flan UL2. Also from IBM, uh, Mistral I and uh, Granite and also Llama model from Meta. All these models are available for you to explore. And also you can get the complementary products as like single store, vector stores, Watson Discovery, Watson Assistant and Document Understanding. All those products are available here to explore. And uh, if you look at the right side, you can see the general use cases. Suppose if you want to build a brief builder for your organization, or if you want to create a conversation intelligence, if you are want to uh, focus on the chatbot application for your organization and infuse this generative AI and make it as an intelligence conversation, uh, for that also you can see all the use cases. And we'll want to explore one by one in detail. In this video, I'm going to cover the overview of uh, how you can get in there and play around. So once you get in there, how you can set up your environment, all those stuff. And uh, if you look at the customer care portal example, and you can see how you can um, implement the generative AI for your organization. So if you look at this architecture diagram, you can see the user comes to the browser and uh, makes the HTTP request where your application, web application may be running in your public cloud service provider, or it can be running on your uh, on-premises. It receives the request from the customer, and it uses the, um, I'm going to expand it a little further. So it uses um, IBM Cloud as a storage, and it uses a agent assistant, which is going to be another web application for you where your uh, Python uh, dashboard may be running, and uh, you may be using the Watson Discovery product from IBM for the retrieval process. And in case if you want to have um, or want to integrate the Q&A process with your uh, chatbot application, you'll be talking to the Watson X.AI and it's established the intelligent QA option for your chatbot application. And once that is done, extraction, classification, and summarization, the Watson Assistant uh, will uh, summarize everything and it will integrate with your web application so that you can easily integrate the generative AI from IBM into your application so that you can achieve the total benefit out of it. And this is one of the use cases I just picked up and explained for you. So if you want to go back and explore all other use cases, here is the location that you can explore all the use cases. I just wanted to check how this SQL code generation works, right? Uh, I just click on this um, tile and I land on here. 
if you look at this this is very simple application you can easily integrate this watson x dot a from ibm with your web application so uh, let's say like your organization has list of users who are like creating sql files for your uh, application to work and they can use the browser and log into the application and they learn on the web application which is running on your cloud and um, the web application will talk to the code generation capability of what's next start day ai and it will uh, produce the sql output for you suppose if you give a simple plain text it will convert it will learn the text and it will convert the text into sql code so you can easily um, download the code from here uh, and you can set it out so if you go here, you can see the GitHub repository provided by IBM. You can download the code and set it up in your local. And um, also you can get onto this uh, watsonx.ai UI login and play around with watsonx.ai. So let's go back here. And I just wanted to showcase this with the one simple interactive live demo. Click on this live demo. You can uh, input the query, whatever the query you want to input. In this case, we are using this SQL code generation as the example. So what we need this generative AI to do for us, if you give some plain English text, it has to give the SQL query, right? So I'm going to give uh, this first one. What is the total um, FD investment for gold customers with more than 1,000 loyalty points and who live in New York? So I just wanted to get a SQL query for this particular use case. So it nicely produced the SQL query output. So you don't need to have a SQL expert to write um, this, this type of queries, right? Think about the situation where you want to write a query for this particular condition. You may need to have a kind of a SQL expert to write these conditions, right? But watch next at AA, understand this uh, ask from you, and it will convert that request into a SQL query, and you can use it in your application. This is one example of infusing the generative AI, especially what's next on A in your application for generating the code. And similarly, if you go back, you can explore all the use cases provided by IBM. For example, self-service customer assistant. So they have provided a nice diagram about how this works, how what are all the IBM products being used here and what are all the models being used here so that you can play around the model and pick the model rightly for your organization and implement the generative AI effectively. And the beauty of this particular um, self-service co-create experience is you don't need to uh, spend too much time on setting up the environment because everything is set up, everything is available as a code in the GitHub repository. All you need to do is just check out the code and follow the steps to set up the environment and play around. And second thing is, you can pick your own model. Suppose if you want to, if you are specific to a model, for example, IBM Grant, or if you are specific to a model, Meta Lama 2, you can just pick that model and use that model in your organization. This is a quick overview about uh, what exactly this IBM Digital Self-Service Co-Create Experience means. And as an organization, how you can get benefit out of it. And in upcoming video, what you will do, we'll pick one of these use cases and uh, explore one by one in detail so that you will have the very good experience on co-creating this type of architecture with IBM. So if you find this video as a useful one, give a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Take care. Bye.